Good evening and welcome to News Talk New England. I'm Tiffany Williams. We are here at American International College in Springfield, Massachusetts for New England's future number nine, boxing. Seth is the coordinator of communications for athletics here at uh, American International College. Seth, first of all, tell me, have you ever seen boxing come here? No, this is this is something that's new for us. Uh, we've never had this on our campus before. It's, you know, as an institution that has prided itself on always providing new and exciting things. When we added rugby, we've added triathlon, men's volleyball. To see a boxing event here on our campus is really amazing. Tell me a little bit about some games today. You had you actually had a softball game and a baseball game going on here today. Yeah, our softball and baseball teams both had home games today. But softball had a doubleheader. They split uh, with St. Michael's College. Baseball, exciting 5-4, 10 inning walk-off win against Southern Connecticut State right here on campus. And our track and field team's also down in Pennsylvania competing at the prestigious Penn Relays. Lots of great things going on here in Springfield. Says, so tell me about the pride here at American National College in its sports program. Uh, you know, I actually graduated from AIC. I started here as a student 15 years ago, and the athletics programs here have always been a huge, huge source of our of pride. It brings the school together. I was talking about it when I was doing the softball broadcast. You know, I look over to my right and I see a hockey player, a couple of lacrosse players, you know, a football player, a rugby player, watching the game, supporting. It brings our community together here on this campus like nothing else, and it's such a special thing. And to be able to work with our student athletes and see them grow and develop not only as athletes but as people is so special when you look at this crowd in here tonight mm -hmm. in front of us to the right and to the left of us and there was a line outside yeah. how does that feel for this campus right now no it's amazing to bring people onto our campus so that they can see what AIC is all about you know it, you know the Springfield community knows who we are and what we represent but anytime you can bring that to a larger a larger environment the way that we have here tonight with this event is is good for us it's great for the community and you know, I know a lot of folks from Worcester are in tonight and you know, it's certainly awesome to have them here in the 413 and to have them here on our campus and let me ask you I'm a baseball fan I love baseball I cover the Worcester Red Sox a lot okay um, tell me a little bit about your baseball program here so our baseball program is one of our oldest teams here at AIC. It's existed since 1934. Uh, Nick Collini, who is our head coach, actually also works on our main campus in our uh, Academic Success Center. He's done a fantastic job with the program. We have student athletes who are active not only you know, on campus in classes, but in the community. They do a, a drive every year. They call it the Home Run for the Hungry, where they get donations for the local food pantry every year they over 2,500 pounds of food they've been doing this for years uh, again th that source of pride of helping them not only be better athletes but developing them into better people who are interested in making their communities better is so important to us here at AIC and so that's a big thing for Nick Collini our head coach who's done a wonderful job in that regard awesome I'm looking forward to bringing you back on again later on tonight I believe our our commentary crew over here is also going to be bringing you on later on again tonight to do a little broadcasting with us. Well, How excited are you? I'm super excited. Like I said, anytime I get a chance to do something new, I've never done boxing before, so you know it's another another sport that I can check off. We have 26 of them here at AIC, so I can make that number 27. You think boxing will be returning after this tonight? I certainly hope so. I think it's a lot of. I've always enjoyed watching it on TV, and you know, my uncle is a huge fan of boxing so I grew up watching it when I was a little kid always had the fights so really excited to see it in person for the first time ever though I heard that there was um, wrestling possibly in the works of coming here too is that correct yeah so our we have a wrestling team here at AIC it's actually the only division two wrestling team in New England in the NCAAs um, one of our students who's graduating this spring just broke our school wins record, reached the national championship bout at 157. Jojo Gonzalez out of Wyndham, Connecticut, uh, unbelievable person, academic All-American in addition to being a three-time All-American wrestler. So, you know, certainly there's already a deep wrestling connection in the Springfield community. Central High School has a great wrestling program too. Lots of opportunities for wrestling here, so I'm not surprised to hear that. And yeah. I think this ties into it, boxing as well, kind of a very similar sort of community. Mm -hmm. 
when you look down to the end of us here, all the way down the end of the other broadcast table, Ayer Asante, Division One uh, NCAA wide receiver for Holy Cross College. Yep. Uh, how important, I mean, you guys get somebody like that here tonight. So we actually have a good connection with Holy Cross in a couple of ways. Our ice hockey team here at AIC is Division One, and we compete in the same conference as the Crusaders yeah. uh, in that sport. And then their director of athletic communication, Sarah Kirkpatrick, actually got her first athletic communications job here at AIC as a really close friend of mine that I worked with for three years. So it's definitely cool to connect with, with Holy Cross again and to have them here. It's you know, and I spend a lot of time at Holy Cross in the summertime, too, at Fit and Field because of the Worcester Bravehearts baseball Worcester team. Bravehearts. Because I work for the Westfield Starfires okay. in the NEC, or in the FCBL, which our team is actually owned by an AIC alum, so it all ties together. And again, like I said earlier, anything that we can bring the Western and Central Massachusetts community together, yeah. an event like this, events like those baseball games, are all good things for everybody. And we'll definitely be covering the Worcester Bravehearts this year. So we'll be seeing you more in the baseball diamond too. Oh, absolutely, because I'll be traveling with the Starfires all summer. I'm their play-by-play guy, so yeah. it'll be it'll be busy, but we'll see each other quite a bit. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the booth. And I'm looking forward to seeing you how you, you work with these guys down here after. I'm looking forward to the opportunity. I appreciate uh, it, Tiffany. Thank you very much, Seth. Thank you. Appreciate it.